right, so now that we've assessed the midfoot, we can also treat it functionally. So what we can have our patients do is remember, based on the anatomy of the subtalar joint, the subtalar joint helps kind of unlock it. So we basically want to facilitate pronation of this foot uh, through the subtalar joint. And so basically we just create eversion of the heel. So Patrick, go ahead and put your foot forward for me. And let's just have you just go ahead and drive your knee in back and forth. And do that for me a few times. And so basically, as you can see, his midfoot's moving. So I can speed slow the uh, midfoot down relative to the rear foot, right? So the talus is going this way, um, and so then the midfoot is kind of going back out that way into abduction relative to the talus. So I can just basically speed up that talus down and in, while then that talus or the midfoot rather is going through abduction. Okay. I can also then do the other planes as well, right? So I know that this rear foot is going through eversion, so the midfoot is going through inversion relatively. So I can then come in here and just kind of lift up the midfoot this way to get that motion as well. And then go ahead, Pat, now go ahead and step forward with your right foot for me. And kind of tone in for me with this foot. Yep. And now, Pat, let's just have you go ahead and reach across with your right hand for me. And so now the opposite is occurring. We want to basically get the subtalar joint to invert. So the talus is going to go through abduction. So the midfoot is relatively going through adduction. So that's all I'm going to facilitate. And so I'm just going to kind of glide that talus in abduction. But I kind of then glide the midfoot back in through adduction. And then from a windless mechanism standpoint, the heel is going through inversion at the rear foot, so the midfoot's relatively going through what they call eversion, right, at that, that supinar or that pronatory twist. So go ahead, Pat, and do that for me. And so I'm just kind of basically speeding up the heel while then I glide the midfoot down towards the floor with this left hand. You can also have them do this as a home exercise program. So Patrick, would you mind just go ahead and um, stand on that one foot and just kind of basically take your other foot, I'm having a hard time balancing here, um, and just kind of glide it down. You just kind of push your foot down on it to help facilitate it. Yes. Yeah. And so then you can even kind of use this other foot here to help kind of mobilize his foot down as well um, in regards to pronation. So that's a good way for someone who doesn't pronate. And then you can also have him just take some basic steps forward. So Pat, maybe you just do your... Um, stepping forward around the corner for me. And so again, that's going to mobilize that midfoot as well, just doing something simple as this. So there you have it. That's how you would evaluate and treat the foot from a functional standpoint at the midfoot.